new edge. First, he's a one-man mobile television station. So the fact that I can see so much so clearly is just excellent. From the studios of CNET, the computer network, this is the new edge. I'm Ryan Seacrest. In the TV news business, it's all about getting there, setting up, and being first to go live from the scene. TV news crews are constantly rushing to the scene of breaking news in their satellite trucks to get as close to the action as humanly possible. But news doesn't always take place in the most convenient locations. That's why news crews are always looking for better remote broadcasting equipment that's more versatile and mobile. We found a man who came up with a rather novel solution. Take a look. Documentary filmmaker Jim Bruton has developed a kind of one-man operational satellite feed. The technologies Jim has combined are not new, but they have never been used in this capacity before. Now, this field production unit is lightweight, portable, and everything you need to conduct a live video feed. Plus, it fits into three suitcases. An obvious initial application would be for news coverage, especially in remote or extreme situations where high mobility is required because you could pack this up, relocate to somewhere else and redeploy within 10 minutes while the TV truck is still packing the antenna up. The entire setup consists of a laptop computer, two satellite phones, a digital video camera and two small satellite antennas. There's little preparation needed to be fully operational. Plug in the equipment, supply a power source and you're almost ready to go. Okay, now we pull our camera out, and while we establish our shot, our computer will boot up into the video conference program. The satellite telephone call will take place, and once the entire connection is established, we can go live. Jim's system was recently used in a Yale telemedicine project that took place on Mount Everest. Doctors were able to monitor the climbers, check their physical condition, and make diagnoses without ever having to set foot on the mountain. There is some distortion and a slight two-second delay in the transmission, but the equipment performed as expected under the extreme conditions. Quality difference is obvious. Uh, it's, it's not the high bandwidth that you have with a flyaway system or a television truck. But uh, through the superior video compression, we make extremely good use of the 128 kilobit per second pipe. Several news stations conducted live interviews with climbers on the mountain, something that had never been done before. Jim transmitted a live feed for CNN from the USS Independence during the Gulf War. We're continually working on the video compression to get you as best video quality as we can over the available bandwidth. Uh, obviously, the satellite systems will become smaller and more portable and easier to use. Jim has converted his truck into a high-tech mobile video conferencing center. What you see here is a field satellite phone with the tracking head. When we fire up the system, the first thing we do is we tell the satellite dish to go looking for the satellite. We have different cameras we can switch to. In this case, I have one on the hood of the car that can see the satellite dish, track the uh, satellite from on top, and then I can switch to another camera inside so that I can speak directly to it. Here I have a small monitor that allows me to see the view that the people on the other end are seeing. And I have a small switcher here, so I'm actually able to see the satellite dish on top as it rotates to counter what the car is doing. Once the system is locked onto the satellite and there's adequate signal strength, it's time to make a call. Tracy, how are you? There she is. How are you? Can you hear me okay? Looks great. I can hear you wonderfully. You know, the fact that I can see so much so clearly is just um, excellent. Jim is modifying his system to go on the Remax Transglobal Balloon as Team Remax attempts to circle the Earth. And as the technology becomes more refined and compact, there will be no limits to where we will be able to see live images from, whether on Earth or from above. Jim is working on restructuring his current system and tells us that within the next year, he will have everything he needs scaled down from three suitcases to one backpack.